Good morning. This week we're going to be talking about uh, gender equity, a new subject um, and new category. Uh, we're going to be reviewing really uh, this week uh, three different areas. We're going to be talking about uh, Title IX of the Education Amendments of 1972, and then we're going to be talking about uh, Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. We'll also be talking a little bit about the Equal Pay Act as well. Then we're also going to be talking a little bit about uh, sexual harassment, which I think is a really important topic that we'll need to uh, talk about as in, in particular in these days. Um, but um, before we start, I want to share a devotional thought from Romans chapter 10. It goes like this. My, my dear brothers and sisters, my heart's desire and prayer to God for the Israelites is that they may have, that they may be saved. For I can testify about them that they are zealous for God, but their zeal is not based on knowledge, since they did not know the righteousness that comes from God and sought to establish their own, they did not submit to God's righteousness. Christ is the end of the law, so that there may be righteousness for everyone who believes. So, really important to understand here what Paul is saying. Remember, we just finished chapter 9 in Romans, in which Paul says, uh, is talking about God's sovereignty. And remember, he he's building this case from the very beginning that God's people are chosen not because of because they follow the law of Moses. In other words, the Jewish practices of the day that someone could inherit their their um, they could earn their their righteousness, but rather that we are children of faith. In fact, he remember he talks about how Abraham is the father of faith. And even though God's chosen people are the Jewish people according to the Old Testament, He's really saying, he's kind of proclaiming a new, a, new, a new work going on here because of Christ. Christ is the end of the law, so that there may be righteousness for everyone who believes. Righteousness is something that is open to everyone. And he goes on. Moses describes in this way the righteousness that is by the law. The man who does these things will live by them. But the righteousness that comes, that is by faith, says, Do not say in your heart, you will ascend into heaven. That is to bring Christ down. Or who will descend into the deep? That is to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith we are proclaiming. That if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is your, with your heart that you believe and are justified and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. As the scripture says, anyone who puts their trust in him will never be put to shame. Isn't that a great word? What a great promise. For there is no difference between Jew and Gentile. The same Lord is Lord of all and richly blesses all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. What a great word today. Hope you guys have a great week.